The Sony C800G is a revered microphone that's a favorite amongst pop, rap, hip-hop, and R&B artists for its forward sound when used on vocals. Legend says that it's a particular favorite of Mariah Carey's, but at just under $11,000, the C800G is way out of reach for most people. But don't worry, if your budget is more pariah than Mariah, and $11,000 is just a sweet, sweet fantasy baby, Sony has a couple of other large diaphragm condenser offerings designed to deliver a C800 influenced sound at a more friendly price tag. The C80 and the C100 are reasonably recent releases from Sony and both have their roots in the C800G and offer some of that familiar forward sounding characteristic. Both of these mics share the same dual diaphragm 25mm capsule. In the C80 it delivers a frequency response of 20Hz to 20kHz and in the C100 this capsule is paired in a two-way design with a smaller 17mm capsule. When combined, these capsules give the C100 a frequency response of 20 Hz to 50 kHz, with the 25 mm capsule extending up to 25 kHz and the 17 mm capsule going from there all the way up to 50 kHz, making it ideal for high resolution audio applications. The C80 is a fixed cardioid microphone, while the C100 offers the choice of cardioid, omni, and figure eight polar patterns. Both mics are capable of handling strong sound pressure levels. Sony says the C80 specs out at more than 138 decibels SPL, while the C100 can handle 132 decibels SPL in cardioid mode, 138 decibels SPL in omni, and 136 decibels SPL in figure eight. These are pretty good numbers for condenser microphones and mean that both of these mics will hold up when being used on loud vocals, brass instruments, drums, and guitar cabs. Both feature a minus 10 dB pad to maximize headroom on loud sources, and they also both feature a low cut filter for getting rid of any unwanted rumble. Talking specs is one thing, but I'm sure the main reason you're watching this video is because you wanna get an idea of how these microphones sound in a real world situation. So with that in mind, we've come down to engine room audio in New York City, and I'm gonna put these microphones, both the C80 and the C100 through their paces on a track that features mostly acoustic instruments. I'll be joined by my friend, vocalist Alana Alexander, and b &H's own Gabriel Richards on saxophones. The only processing on the mix you just heard was a little reverb on some tracks via an aux send and some light compression and limiting on the master bus. No EQ was used at all, none in tracking, none on individual tracks and none on the master bus. Everything you heard was how it was recorded on the day. Of course, when I was tracking I tried as much as I could to observe the golden rule of getting everything right at the source with mic placement and use of the high pass filter and pad switches when appropriate, but I think that the results speak to the ability of both the C80 and the C100 to provide a great capture, especially when paired with a good sounding room. It could be said that both the C80 and the C100 are on the smaller side as far as condensers go, particularly when comparing them to their grown and over 30 year old sibling, the C800G. 
And aside from more than a passing resemblance to the C800G, they do share a similar construction technique, which Sony calls noise elimination construction, and employs a two-part body made of different metals to reduce unnecessary resonance vibration, resulting in a clearer sound. Both the C80 and the C100 come with a shock mount that's very easy to set up and quickly locks the microphone into place. This is one thing that I really liked when working on that session, it just made it super easy and fast to change between mics. The C100 also comes with a windscreen and a Pelican style hard case for both the mic and the included accessories, while the C80 comes with a molded carrying case. So, now you've seen them, and you've heard them. Now which of these mics will find their way into your mic locker? The C80 or the C100? Or both? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, I'm Andrew with B&H.